So there's these places around the world called the Blue Zones, there's five of them, and in this video coming up uh, from a YouTube channel called Yes Theory, it's a bunch of guys that travel the world, and they go to interesting places, they've been to three different Blue Zones, and we're going to go to Sardinia, Italy, that's one of them, and we're going to see what they eat. So the Blue Zones have been, um, quote-unquote, hijacked by the vegetarian vegan people who are saying that these are places where people are more vegetarian vegan, they don't eat a lot of animal foods. One of the five Blue Zones is Okinawa, and it's an island off of Japan, and it is actually translated to the land of the pig eaters. That's Okinawa. So the original study of Okinawans was after World War II when the pig population was decimated by the war, and they didn't eat the meat because they just didn't have it, but the pig population came back, and they're eating plenty of pork. Another uh, Blue Zone area is Icaria, Greece, and Icaria was visited by a nutritionist named Mary Ruddick, and she's been interviewed. And she says everyone has animals and they eat meat, dairy, eggs. She went to the restaurants and that's all they had on the menu. And then some desserts, they had very little plants on the menu at the restaurants. And it's a very uh, poor location. And there's a lot of pension fraud there. So if you have an 80-year-old grandfather living in the house and he dies, the family does not tell the government that the uh, grandfather had died. And they continue to get the pension checks for 10 years, 20 years. And the government thinks that this guy is still alive. He's 100 years older or, or, or older. But it's because of pension fraud. So I just debunked Okinawa, Japan, Icaria, Greece. And next we're going to debunk Sardinia, Italy. And we're going to visit a small town on this island of Sardinia. So let's let the Yes Theory guys take it away. There are in fact five small towns around the world where this has been happening at an abnormally higher rate than anywhere else. Scientists have termed them blue zones and have spent decades trying to understand what they do differently to achieve longer lifespans. One of them is in Greece, Stamatis' hometown. One is in Japan, one in Costa Rica, and one in California. But the original blue zone and the one with the most records is the one we will be visiting today. Off the coast of Italy, tucked away high in the mountains of the island of Sardinia, lies a hidden village called Seulo where this year alone, out of the 800 residents, six of them turn 100. Cheers to the beginning of our Blue Zone adventure. We, all, we shall drink and eat what the centurions drink and eat and hopefully gain a few years. Olives. Oh my God, that's pig belly. That's pork belly. Also known as lard fried up in a pan. Goat cheese, there's the lard. So now they're getting ready for a festival. And all the villagers come in, they're going to party, they're going to drink, they're going to dance till 3 a.m. Listen to what he says here. <laughs> this is not how I thought this day was going to go. I thought we were going to eat vegetables and like go on a hike. So they thought they were going to eat vegetables. I thought we were going to eat vegetables and like go on a hike. There's some vegetables, there's some potatoes. <laughs> they're all cutting the potatoes up together. Now the meat arrives. And now the meat arrives. Here comes the meat. Look at that. Wow. All the meat here is raised here. It's all from here, which mm. obviously makes a huge difference. And also they eat healthy stuff. They eat healthy the stuff, the animals. Over a, over a pit. Pigs over a pit. There's your vegan diet in the Blue Zone. There's a Blue Zone documentary that will be released on Netflix very soon. And again, like I said, it's going to be twisted to, th to make you think it's a vegetarian paradise and it's not so just share this with your friends and family make sure that you catch the lies um, i've been studying the vegan uh, culture for a long time they found me in 2017 on youtube and started to attack me and threaten my life because they promote meat as a healthy food ketosis and the carnivore diet and uh, in my investigations on uh, veganism there's a lot of lies they lie all the time so um, i'm just giving you a heads up um, in preparation for this blue zones documentary don't let anybody sway you away from meat. Meat has never been shown um, in a scientific clinical study that it causes any disease. Meat does not cause a disease. It never did. And so uh, let that uh, sink in. And meat is actually a very uh, healthy food for human beings.